Welcome back to Unreal Engine Indy. We are going to do the enemy health bar today. Let's get started. First thing we are going to do, so we got the HUD. We did the Wukong health bar. We're not going to do an overlay for the enemy. What we are going to do, just go to user interface widget blueprint and user widget and we're just going to call this enemy health bar and we're going to go ahead and open it up now inside here we just want to do a progress bar drag that down go ahead and name this to health or enemy health bar and the tent over here we want that to be black and the alpha to be 0.5 and right there the blue of course we have the percent if we make that 0.5 we need to make this red There we go. That's under appearance, fill, and opacity. So we can go ahead and compile and save. Now inside here, we need to bind this to the percent. And what we can do is go ahead and create binding. Then remove that. And what we're going to need, we're going to need a reference to the enemies. So let's come up here and let's just say enemy. So we drop down and we go to Chimera Blueprint Object Reference. Go ahead and compile, save, and we need to drag that in. We need to get that. So the is valid doesn't want to show up, so we will just do is valid. We will do a boolean for that. I don't know why it's not showing up, but we'll just do it this way. And drag that over there. Okay, so we're just doing is valid, condition true, plug that in there, and I think what we can do is we can just say health, combat, get health, and get max health. We'll just go ahead and divide it. Divide it. Right there. We don't have to set it that I know of. So hopefully all of that will work. Alrighty. Okay, so we just go ahead and compile and save. So what we need to do, okay, so we we've got this. Now what we need to do is we need to jump over into the blueprint. So if we come over to the Chimera blueprint. And what we need to do is add. We need to add a widget. Make sure it's a widget. The widget component provides a surface in a 3D environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to just call this. I want to do something in the future, maybe. Let's see. 
we'll just call this name plate. So I want to call that name plate event begin play. So nothing's on event begin play. Okay. So event begin play. We need an event begin play if that is not already there for you. And we need to take this nameplate and drag that in. Get user widget object. We need to get user widget object. We need to cast it to that health bar we just created. So you say cast enemy cast to enemy health bar. And we plug that right into there. And from there, we need to cast the enemy health bar. From there, we need to set enemy. We need to make sure you set enemy. Because right here, enemy health bar. Do, do, do. Right there, enemy. We need to set that. And the reason we need to set it is because we need to get the nameplate that we created. And of course, enemy, you just want to do a reference to self. Just get reference to self. Put it up there. And then you want to drag nameplate down again. Or you can use this one. Get user widget object. Get user widget object. And what we want to do set visibility and set that right there. Compile and save. We'll just call this name plate. Compile and save. So if you go to the viewport, click on name plate. <laughs> Nameplate is right there. Now, the location, and I've done this before, I usually like 125. You can just click on it and drag it up, or you can just say location in the Z125. And you need to compile and save. Now that we have that, what we need to do is we need to come over here to space. Click on user widget, come over to user interface space, world. You don't want it to be world, you want it to be screen. Because in world, if you, I think if you go behind the character, you're not going to see the nameplate. If that's what you want, you know, go for it. Uh, and the nameplate, I don't know, let's say 120 maybe? I really don't know. I can't remember what I did for my project. But let's see what happens. Nothing happened. And the reason why nothing happened, we need an enemy class, which was the enemy health bar. So then we compile and save. We have screen, enemy health bar, 100, and then if we click play, as you can see, the health bar is quite large. So let's kind of come over here. Let's say 80 to 10, maybe? And 
click play. Maybe 40? Well, you get the idea. And as you can see, the health bar is going down. But of course, enemy's dead. And of course, you would do your animations, death animation, things like that. But the health bar is working. I wonder what 40 and 5 would look like. Just come over here and do that. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Of course, it's a little too high. Save 110, maybe. Save. Come over here. Okay. So we come over here. Ooh. Okay, as you can see, the health bar is going down. And of course, Wukong's health bar is going down too. As you can see right there, health bar is going down. So, that is how you do it. Uh, in the next video, we are going to be displaying the enemy name right above the health bar. That is all I have for today. Bye for now.